um, on this video I will be showing you how I repaired this board yeah okay when I got here this machine was not turning on but um, the supply here there was 220 volts so what I did I went to a friend of mine who had the same board but um, with a different problem so this one is the problem to the integrated circuit of it that's an IC so it wasn't working so on this one when I tested this one um, this board here let me see if you can see yeah here where I'm pointing from here to here it has a, a fuse resistor so this fuse resistor takes electricity from the life straight to the transformer um, what you should know also is that this life is connected to this morph to this capacitor then to this relay that neutral side is also connected from the morph to the capacitor then to to the relay i'm not sure but it's for you to check that out if you are doing repairs on this one um so our our replacement the first re attempt was the fuse resistor that was bent here then uh after removing that fuse resistor i tested the machine then it blowed the the fuse resistor so um, that's the debate for another day. Um, I, I had a, a debate with my friend about uh, replacing the fuse resistor with the fuse. Then he was disagreeing, but it's the fuse resistor. So if you think you know more than I know, tell me. This is the fuse. I did the replacement and it's working. So the other thing so i had to trace where the shot is so this move uh, is connected in parallel to live and neutral same the capacitor then the transformer so they are all in connected these two components are connected in parallel to the primary winding of the transform so in a parallel circuit if we have a short either on here or here or here in the transformer we will have that problem of blowing the fuse and blowing or blowing the fuse resistor so my fault finding was i figured that that the primary winding of the transformer is shorted so i had to replace it um, i replaced it with this one so i, I, I couldn't get the fuse resistor then uh I just used the fuse. I just calculated the current that is supposed to be here. Then I took a fuse that has that current. So in a moment, okay, let me switch on the machine so you can judge for yourself. If I... So now the machine is working. While I was at home, this machine was saying E5. E5 has to do with the pressure switch, but I knew that it was because I just took the board and left with the board. So um, the pressure switch was not connected to the machine. So it just picked that up. Thank you.